Hey guys, what's up? Extra Sweet here, back here with another video. So today I'm going to be talking about what happened with this Fortnite mobile issue that people have been facing. It's basically with iOS and Android. Now, here's what it is. So if in case you didn't know what happened, so this morning, I mean it's 12 a.m. right now from when I'm recording, but okay, anyway, so this morning, Epic Games tweeted out saying that the amount of V-Bucks, like, the, the price of V-Bucks literally have, like, reduced. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, what happened is that Epic Games basically, like, they lowered down the price for V-Bucks now. As in, like, it's not like the V-Bucks you get. It's not like you get, like, less V-Bucks. This time, it's, like, paying less money to get them. Now, I'll give you an example, guys. I'll just show you right now. So, here's what it is. This just look at this screen. It shows like all the V Bucks, like how how they're supposed to be like purchased. Like it shows eight dollars, which for which is like a thousand V Bucks. Twenty dollars is like twenty eight hundred V Bucks. Thirty two dollars, which is like um, five thousand V Bucks, and then eighty dollars for which is like thirteen thousand five hundred V Bucks. Now the original prices were like ten, twenty five, forty, a hundred. They just reduced it, like, really, like, really quickly, and just, like, now it's, like, it's a bit cheaper. Now, I like what they did, but it's just, here's the problem. Now, this is what I, I, I sh I'll show you this, like, uh, picture on my iPhone. So, here's what happened. So, as if you see, it shows two options to buy V-Bucks. It shows either to buy off of App Store, which is for Apple, or you can buy it off of Epic Games store, which is to like buy off of Fortnite. Now, here's the thing. Apple is basically like selling it in like the original price. Well, Epic Games is selling it in the cheaper price. And along with that, here's the thing. Epic Games basically lowered down the amount of money that Apple makes off of Fortnite from 30% to 10%. They did the same thing with Google and I think with Samsung or something. Or any Android device, basically. Uh this made them mad so then later on this video i'm going to show you guys right now it's it's very disturbing just to watch it's basically like it's like literally an, a little ad where i mean this is like apple on screen like i'll, I'll just show you guys right now So as you saw over there, that was pretty messed up to watch. They basically made like some 1984 type film. Just watching it. It really did not look good. I mean, it's probably my, like, my last video I'm going to make on mobile. Or gameplay whatsoever. I mean, never even like recorded on mobile. But, you know, this might be my, like, my last gameplay on mobile whatsoever. And I mean, here's the thing. Now it's just Fortnite Mobile is just gone. Like this is such an easy way to just lose sales inside of such a big video game. I mean, I've been playing this game since like season two or something, and after hearing like what's happening with Epic Games just banning Fortnite and like so many devices which is like mobile related, now there's like nothing you can do because it's just now this is all like behind Epic Games and like the other companies like i really wish i was just like one of the workers for epic games and i could just fix this and save all of us i just i wish i could just do that but i can't because i'm just a kid i'm just i'm just a regular player i'm nothing related to epic games you know what i mean uh yeah here's the thing now i know for sure that consoles like playstation and xbox and then the platform pc they are not going to lose like the game at all because i have a 
few reasons why. So PlayStation's not going to deal with this because it's just... I remember last month, PlayStation gave Epic Games $250 million. So that is crazy, you know? that Getting that much money is crazy. Now... I don't know what was the reason why they did this. I mean, might have been like because of the PS Plus exclusive they added. I don't. I don't even know. It was probably that, but who knows? Uh, that's what they did. Basically, PlayStation and Epic Games are big friends, so I don't think anything like that's gonna happen. And along with that, when the PlayStation Five comes out, Fortnite's still gonna be popular for that. So people will still play Fortnite while they have the PS Five. So I don't think PlayStation's gonna get ruined by this game. And same goes to Xbox. The Xbox Series X is just gonna be like, it's just it's gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to play on that as well. And PC, the reason why I just think that's not gonna be lost is because since Fortnite is like mostly played on PC, and since like most of the best players are on PC, I don't think Fortnite will just remove it because if that happens, then the game's actually gonna just die out like that. I just I don't think that. I just don't think that Epic Games would just do that to PC players because they should get all the respect, you know, getting all the perfect frames per second whatsoever, what they, whatever what they get, you know, it's, that's just the thing is, they're not going to like just do that to those three. Nintendo Switch, I'm really not sure what's going to happen. They probably might have the exact same thing, but who knows? We should just, you know, it, it's probably just, you know, hopefully they just don't do this as well to them because I have a few Nintendo Switch players and a few nintendo switch friends who you know play this game and i feel bad if they weren't allowed to play this while epic games would just ban that on that platform as well <sighs> now i know for sure that apple is like the only company which didn't really pair with epic games with like making exclusive items as in like nvidia oneplus hawaii samsung xbox playstation nintendo they've all paired with x they've all paired with epic games with all of this stuff i mean like i i already own like a few exclusive items and and it's just like it's just two of them are already from like samsung was the gla the galaxy and the glow and you know i'm happy i own those but just i just i feel like they're not gonna make any more samsung promotions or just they're basically just gonna like stop making like phones that are perfect for fortnite so i just i don't think anything's gonna happen anymore like i think this is it because because i just i don't know what's gonna happen like this all depends on epic games and apple and any other mobile company basically like just trying to you know fix this up like it's all epic games has to apologize for because it's basically them just making this insulting video for apple users and i'm not gonna lie to you guys I am, I literally am, like, recording this on an iPhone XR, and I like Samsung more, to be honest. I think Samsung's much better, in my opinion, but I just I still feel bad for the people who are, like, Apple users and Samsung users. They just can't even play this game anymore. Like, it's just, I literally just, I just feel bad for them. Because this is, like, like I said before, such an easy way to lose players. Like, we had, like, 350 million active players right now, but... Now, I don't even know how many are just going to be lost because of this stupid little thing Epic Games has done. <sighs> now, along with this, I was going to make this Bonger Boogie video, which I'm, I'm still going to make. Uh, the thing is, like, I just feel like that once I make that video, I'm probably just going to, like, stop playing this game. Maybe I might not just play this game as much as I always did, but here's just the thing is, like, I just I feel like that once I just complete that video, I'm probably just going to give Fortnite a break because... It's just, I mean, I used to play this, like, so much back then. And now, what they're doing now, like, I don't know what can happen next. Like, are we going to have, like, this, like, Fortnite ban in the U.S. or some other country? I don't know. Like, is that what's going to happen now? I mean, we we don't know, honestly. I just, I hope that doesn't happen. And also, I just, like I said before, I feel bad for anybody who plays on mobile. I really feel bad for you guys. But, I mean, it's just... Believe me, this is like, this is like, honestly, just both companies' fault. Like, I think this is mostly Epic Games' fault because it's just, like, why would they do this? Like, why would they remove Apple users from, like, playing this game? Like, why would they remove them from, from not, like, letting them play the game anymore? Like, you can still play the game right now. 
that's only if you installed the game like before it got removed from the store. You can still play it on your Samsung phone, your Hawaii phone, your OnePlus, your Google Pixel, your Apple phone, etc. You can play it on that. You can still play on it right now. You just can't install it ever again. That's what it is. And 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 there's like this. Here's the thing. Like I mean, <sighs> with just this like happening, like we can have like any update like in the f- near future and that can probably just like ruin mobile for for good like that, that that's basically just going to be the end of mobile i mean like I, I i play on ps4 and even though this game plays on mobile which probably be like last play uh gameplay for mobile i just it's just that's what it is honestly so so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel put on both notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos follow me on instagram the real op 87 follow me on tiktok op 87 so i'll see you guys later so goodbye